the worst maritime disaster of World War II the Cap Arcona sinking. The sinking of the Cap Arcona and two other transport ships is considered one of World War II's worst maritime disasters. A ship full of allied prisoners of war, POWs, concentration camp inmates, German families, and Nazi SS men was sailing in the North Sea. Royal Air Force RAF, bombers bombarded the ship, and it began to sink. The SS men in the boat escaped with their families, but hundreds of innocent POWs vanished. It was a terrible mistake of the RAF to bomb their countrymen in World War II. The Nazi Titanic The Cap Arcona was a beautiful passenger liner that plied the Baltic Sea and the Atlantic. The Cap Arcona entered service in 1927 and made a voyage from Hamburg in Germany to Buenos Aires. She continued her service as a transport ship and was acquired by the German government in 1940. Joseph Goebbels, the German propaganda minister, funded the German version of the movie Titanic. Goebbels wanted the film to portray the evils of capitalism and make Germany's enemy Britain look bad. Nazi movie makes used the German Cap Arcona as a replica of the British Titanic. The movie was not released in Germany but received critical acclaim in other parts of the world. Germany started to lose the war as the Red Army advanced into German-occupied territories. The Soviet military surrounded pockets of German forces all along the Eastern Front. Landlocked, the troops can escape to Germany only by transport ships in the Baltic Sea. After her brief film career, Cap Arcona was used by the Kriegsmariner, German Navy, to rescue German soldiers, from Russian encirclement. Her last job, was on the cards, and it proved to be a disaster for Britain. The Flensburg Movement As the Allied forces closed in Germany, the SS emptied the concentration camps in occupied zones that held POWs, Jews, and other prisoners. The SS transferred camp inmates to Flensburg. Henrich Himmler, the head of SS, personally took charge of the movement and centered his operations in Flensburg, during the last days of Nazi Germany. As space became scarce in Flensburg, SS men boarded the transport ships with camp inmates. The Cap Arcona, on that fateful day, carried 5,000 concentration camp inmates, POWs, and several hundred SS men and their families. The Allied spies who operated in the region alerted British intelligence that the ship's passengers were concentration camp inmates. The reports fell on deaf ears. The British intelligence analysts thought that high-ranking SS officers planned an escape to German-controlled Norway from Flensburg. British intelligence officers wanted to sabotage this escape plan. The task fell to the RAF. RAF Bomber Command sent its bombers to intercept the transport ships. Flensburg Harbor contained three transport ships filled with camp inmates and POWs. The bombing. On 3rd of May 1945, RAF bombers bombed the Cap Arcona and the other two ships. The SS officers and their families in the vessel took the life jackets and lifeboats and locked the camp inmates inside the ship. After a few minutes, the Cap Arcona capsized and took several hundred people down with it. Out of the 5,000 camp inmates on board the vessel, only 250 escaped. Several hundred SS officers and their families fled from the ship. The RAF severely damaged the other two transport ships and caused heavy causalities totaling 2,000 people. The British media blamed the RAF for, for bombing camp inmates and prisoners who were mostly Allied soldiers. RAF commanders counter-argued that the ship did not carry the Red Cross symbol, which might have saved thousands of lives. Under international law it is illegal to attack ships, vehicles, and buildings displaying the Red Cross or Red Crescent, which are symbols of medical facilities. Flensburg city officials buried the bodies of the deceased in a public memorial. An oversight by British intelligence caused the death of some British soldiers.